Title, Tragic Balcony Fall in Chicago, Three-Year-Olds Unanswered Questions. TLDR, Three-Year-Old Ruth DeSalle Takes a Fatal Plunge from a Ninth-Floor Balcony in Douglas, Chicago. Circumstances. Unclear. Heartbreak. Everywhere. In the midst of a seemingly ordinary Tuesday morning, a heart-wrenching tragedy struck the Douglas neighborhood of Chicago. Ruth DeSalle, a toddler barely three, took an unexpected and fatal fall from her ninth-floor balcony around 11.45 a.m. with a location pinned to the 500 block of East 33rd Place. One can't help but wonder, what led up to this catastrophic moment? Rescue efforts were swift as the little angel was rushed to come a children's hospital. Yet, despite the best medical efforts, the curtains drew on her short life, leaving a void in the hearts of many. The Cook County Medical Examiner's Office has since confirmed her identity and it's safe to say that the community is collectively mourning this grievous loss. But here's the twist, the police have labeled this as a death investigation for now. Holding back on conclusions, we're still left in the dark on many fronts. Was the balcony not childproofed? Were there any guardians present during this incident? Or was the toddler, in a cruel twist of fate, left unsupervised? It's grim tales like these that push us to reflect on the importance of child safety, especially in high-rise dwellings. Kids, with their boundless energy and insatiable curiosity, can sometimes find themselves in the most unforeseen dangers. Like, ever tried chasing a toddler in a toy store? You'd know they're faster than they look. And in urban settings where balconies and windows pose an ever-looming threat, perhaps this incident serves as a stark reminder of how essential childproofing can be. Would Rufta have turned out to be a scientist, a dancer, or even a journalist like yours truly? We'll never know. But it begs the question, how many more roofters do we need before everyone realizes the crucial importance of child safety? But here's the question we want you to ponder upon. While tragedies are undeniably sorrowful, don't they also spotlight areas in our society desperately needing change? And more so, what steps can we all take to ensure no child has to face such grim fates in the future? Disclaimer. This article is for informational purposes only. It is not meant to provide safety or childproofing recommendations. Always consult with professionals for specific advice. How do you think communities can come together and address these safety concerns more proactively?